An exciting new age in the study of the cosmos has begun, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. Numerous candidate galaxies have been found by the Infrared Observatory, casting doubt on the Big Bang Theory and our models of galaxy evolution. And now, just a few months after scientists using Webb's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, claimed that they had seen the universe's most distant star, the Webb Space Telescope has confirmed the discovery. The star, which has been given the name Arendelle, after a character from the Lord of the Rings prequel, The Cimmerillion, by J.R.R. Tolkien, was discovered in a deep field photograph from the Hubble Space Telescope because of gravitational lensing. It may be difficult to detect the star in the new James Webb Space Telescope image that was tweeted on August 2nd by a group of astronomers using the account Cosmic Spring JWST. The star's light took 12.9 billion years to reach Earth. How then did astronomers manage to pick out a single star so far from the Earth? Is there anything special about Arendelle compared to the other stars in the sky? Finally, how do the latest observations of Arendelle by James Webb, cast doubt on our models of stellar evolution. Stay tuned for the conclusion as we try to answer all of your burning questions. To date, the Hubble Space Telescope has detected the light of the furthest individual star, which formed a billion years after the Big Bang, and is therefore the oldest star ever observed. This finding significantly predates Hubble's 2018 discovery of the previous single star record holder. About 4 billion years ago, or 30% of the age of the universe now, a moment astronomers call Redshift 1.5, that star was born. As the cosmos expands, the light from distant objects is stretched or shifted to longer, redder wavelengths as it travels toward us. At redshift 6.2, when the universe was only 7% of its present age, the light from the newly discovered star has taken 12.9 billion years to reach the Earth. Star clusters inside of early galaxies are the tiniest objects ever seen at such a great distance. Since it was so far beyond the previous most distant, highest redshift star, we almost didn't believe it at first, said Brian Welch, an astronomer from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, and the lead author of the study describing the finding, which appeared on March 30th in the journal Nature. Hubble data from the RELICS Reionization Lensing Cluster Survey program at the Space Telescope Science Institute, directed by co-author Dan Coe, led to the discovery. When viewed from such great distances, entire galaxies normally look like little smudges, as stated by Welch. This is because the light from millions of stars blends together. Our observation of the host galaxy for this star revealed that it was enlarged and twisted into a long crescent shape by gravitational lensing. We dubbed this shape the Sunrise Arc. Welch studied the galaxy in depth, and one of its features turned out to be a greatly enlarged star he named Arendelle, which literally translates to Dawn Star in Old English. The finding shows promise for illuminating a previously unexplored time period of primordial star formation. Because Arendelle was around such a long time ago, perhaps it did not. Welch argued that the stars in our galaxy are made of the same raw ingredients as the Earth. Learning about Arendelle will provide us insight into a period of cosmic history that predates all we currently understand. It's almost as if we've been reading a fascinating novel, only that instead of starting with the Welch remarked, this is the second chapter, and we finally get to see where it all began. Scientists say Arendelle is at least 50 times the size of the sun. Mass of the sun and emit light comparable to that of the brightest and most massive stars in the universe. The galaxy cluster WHL 0137-08 lies between us and the star Arendelle, and it was through its gravitational lensing that Hubble was able to make the discovery. The massive cluster acted like a magnifying glass increasing the star's brightness by a factor of 1,000 to 40,000. Even a brilliant, extremely high-mass star would be hard to notice at such a vast distance, without the natural magnification offered by 
WHL0137-08, a huge galaxy cluster positioned between us and Arendelle. A powerful natural magnifying glass, the galaxy cluster's bulk bends and greatly amplifies light from distant objects behind it. This uncommon alignment with the cluster of galaxies acts as a magnifying glass, making it appear as though the star Arendelle is sitting on top of, or very close to, a rip in the fabric of space. This ripple, known as a caustic in optics, delivers maximum magnification and brightness. The effect is similar to the way in which the sun's rays reflect off the bottom of a swimming pool and creates patterns of dazzling light on a sunny day. The ripples on the surface act as lenses, maximizing the light reaching the pool's floor. Because of this caustic effect, the star Arendelle shines out from the overall brightness of its host galaxy. The light output is amplified by a factor of a thousand or more. At the time, scientists were unable to discern if Arendelle is a binary star, despite the fact that most massive stars have at least one smaller partner star. Scientists believe this star to be the oldest and most distant one in the universe. It's a whopping 28 billion light years away from our own planet. It's nearly twice as far as the previous record holder, Icarus, MACS J1149 Lensed Star 1. Above an imaginary line between Zeta and Theta Ceti, in the exact middle of the constellation Cetus, is a star called Arendelle. The star's apparent magnitude of 27.2 makes it invisible to even the greatest amateur telescopes. Because gravitational lensing warps its light into the shape of a lengthy crescent, the host galaxy of Arendelle, classified as WHL0137-ZD1, has earned the nickname Sunrise Arc. Both of the red dots on either side of the WHL0137 lensed star are actually the same star cluster, but their light has been bent in such a way that they appear to be mirror images of one another. The distance between Arendelle and the future Milky Way galaxy was only 4 billion light years when the starlight was released. Due to the accelerating expansion of space-time during those 12.9 billion years, the star is presently 28 billion light years from Earth. Arendelle is a very massive blue star with a surface temperature of at least 20,000 K and a mass between 50 and 100 times that of the Sun. Besides that, we don't know very much about its characteristics. Heavy stars don't last long because of their extreme weight. They rapidly exhaust their hydrogen fuel, leaving the main sequence to grow into supergiants. Very likely, Arendelle exploded as a supernova just a few million years after its formation. Arendelle might be a population 3 star, but the odds are quite low. Theoretical population 3 stars are a class of massive, hot, and bright stars thought to have formed in the early universe. Almost no metals were present in these stellar objects. Primordial hydrogen and helium made up nearly all of their makeup. They may have been the first to produce elements heavier than hydrogen, which are necessary for planets to form. Due to Hubble's narrow wavelength range, very little is known about this distant star. Therefore, astronomers have employed the James Webb Space Telescope to delve deeper into Arendelle's characteristics. Dr. Brian Welsh of Johns Hopkins University led this investigation. In their paper, the researchers analyzed recent pictures of Arendelle, taken using Webb's NERCAM camera. These photos span in wavelength from 0.8 to 5 microns. Arendelle was studied using eight different Webb filters, each with an exposure length of more than half an hour. Important details are highlighted by recent observations made with the James Webb Space Telescope. It all starts with the star's redshift. The redshift of deep space objects reveals their distance. Redshift is represented by the dimensionless quantity z. Time, represented by z, equals zero. Now and distance, measured in light years backwards, rise in tandem as z increases. Updated web data shows that 6.2 redshift is indeed where Arendelle is located. This value is consistent with data from the Hubble Space Telescope that will be made public in early 2022 making Arendelle the star with the highest redshift yet found. 
Another interesting property of Arendelle is its bolometric brightness, or the total energy emitted by the star across all wavelengths of light. The Webb findings eliminate the possibility of Arendelle being a low-mass star, a brown dwarf star, or a free-floating planet. Gravitationally lensed exoplanet In our neighborhood of the cosmos, massive stars frequently have at least one companion and frequently have multiple companions. Tertiary companions can be as far as 20 AU from the star, compared to the 2 AU that primary companions are from the star. Thus, the James Webb Telescope will not be able to detect any companion stars to Arendelle, even if they exist. Another problem is that the star's brightness would exceed the Humphreys-Davidson limit, sometimes known as the HD limit. If it were a million times brighter than the Sun, over the HD limit, empirical luminosity measurements have shown that no stars exist, at least in the nearby universe. Therefore, we may have to rethink the HD limit and set additional constraints on it if Arendelle is confirmed to be a single star a million times brighter than the Sun. Since astronomers have been hunting for decades for a Population 3 star, the discovery of Arendelle is noteworthy. Arendelle, according to astronomers, will maintain its bright glow for a very long time. In December of 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to make its next Arendelle observation. A reliable measurement of Arendelle's luminosity and surface temperature would help determine its star type and age. Astronomers also anticipate that the Sunrise Arc galaxy will be devoid of heavy metals that arise in succeeding generations of stars. As a result, it's likely that Arendelle is a massively unique star that's low on metals. Understanding how the universe first formed and where the earliest stars and galaxies came from is widely regarded as astronomy's holy grail. Finding the early stars would confirm the Big Bang Theory's predictions and improve our understanding of star formation. Finding them would also be like discovering our own roots. More information on its spectrum will have to wait. Soon, astronomers may have a better idea of what this new record holder is all about, thanks to the JWST's ability to see finer features than the Hubble Space Telescope. The light of Arendelle has traveled far and is now completely spent. No matter what it has to say, we're sure it's worth the wait. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you liked this video, then like and subscribe to our channel. We have another very interesting video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen. Then we'll take you on another mind-blowing space adventure.